Are there still infestors? Yeah. The infestors are scary, man. They do a lot of damage. I have two minutes to clear out three structures. Shouldn't be rocket science. The micro of those infestors is actually sick, man. They deal so much damage. Okay, there's one more. That's full energy. Oh, that was tricky. You did it, Jim. <laughs> you did it, Jim. Thank you, Hanson. Now I've got to get my people somewhere safe. Ain't gonna be so easy, darling. This whole sector's crawling with Zerg. There's got to be somewhere. You've never seen anyone do the mission without Reapers? Some oh. undiscovered paradise waiting just for us. Aww. Hansen is talking about the undiscovered paradise waiting just for us, guys. Hate to break it to you, she's not talking about me and, uh... She's talking about her people. That was a difficult mission. Definitely one of, uh, one of the trickier ones. I think I spent about an hour and a half on that one. Thanks for joining Shh. us. Our own Kate Lockwell is reporting live from the refugee ship Skinner 2 in orbit around the planet Meinhof. Donnie, the death toll out here is soaring. Massive refugee fleets like this one are struggling to reach the safety of the core worlds. Many of them won't. They're short on food, water, Kate, and hope. we'll discuss how the Dominion will rescue those worlds when we get there. There's a lot of talk about rescue among the refugees, but they're pinning their hopes on paramilitary and rebel groups such as Raiders. Ra Stop with this. Live from a refugee <sighs> ship over Meinhof, where the fake news of Kate Lockwell every time. Return. Up next, a Vermilion commentary. Refugees, are they really our responsibility? That's that's messed up. You're all heart done. Yeah, that's really messed up. Other people, are their problems really my problems? <laughs> Does anyone matter but me? <laughs> well, Ariel, found a world for your people yet? Yes, an unclean planet called Haven. It's near the edge of Protoss space, but it seems safe enough. It'll have to do. Your people need to lay low for a while. Aren't either of you worried the colonists might be infested? Yes. How could you even suggest that? Oh, I mean, no. They're perfectly healthy. My girlfriend says I no. I so, Ariel. The Protoss don't mess around when it comes to infestation. Just in case, maybe you should start looking into some kind of cure for the Zerg virus. Conventional wisdom says a cure is impossible. The virus mutates too fast. But I'll look into it. Just do what you can. That's all anyone's asking. Okay. We have the vehicles. Allows Hellions to attack while moving. What does this upgrade what does this upgrade normally do? Wait, what? I don't remember these little videos. Wait, is this normally a thing in the campaign? It's always been there. The animation is updated, though. Oh. Yeah, I've always seen those videos, but I was wondering if, like, because if this can only, like, be edited as well or something, but I guess not. Titanium housing. Hellstorm batteries. We will definitely need both of those upgrades at some point. Normally, one upgrade is blue flame and the other one is flame width. Oh, right, yes, the flame upgrades are combined into one. I see, okay. So, yeah, 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 exactly. So this definitely is a big improvement for Hellions. I have to kind of decide if I want to play mech or if I want to play a bio-based army. I think normally bio is a little bit better. Mech is definitely strong, though. I've already put quite a few points in, uh, in you know, my biological units. I'll definitely have to make um, some splash damage in the final missions.
Diamondbacks and Hellion fly up. Oh, that's a good point. Normally, Diamondbacks kind of suck. But they can also move and shoot at the same time. And I guess with this upgrade, the Hellions can do the same thing. I already have like an anti-infested kind of army right now, though. So I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to focus on this one first. That one's really quite expensive, but it will make healing quite a bit better. It's a lot of credits. Um, yes. We're going to go with that one. I'll try out some of the other upgrades as well later, though, just for fun. And then these are then also changed. Did I? I did get more, right? But did I, yeah, I got on the other side. So sadly, I can't get my stimp back on Reapers yet. I hear the mighty Jim Rainers. We've received reports. All right, all right, all right. All right. So yesterday, I got started with the Wings of Liberty campaign on the Nightmare difficulty. So basically, the goal for this custom campaign is to make like a reasonable version of StarCraft 2 with a skill level or like a, a difficulty level that's above brutal. So we got started and we did all of the missions so far relatively smoothly. I did have to do a couple of restarts, I guess, but overall it's been, yeah, it's been going quite well. I haven't done the Reaper mission yet. No, I heard that the Reaper mission is a tricky one. So I think that will be one of the missions we'll have to get done today. So the ones I've done up to this point, We've done actually quite a few already. Yeah, we've already done six. Yeah. Um, one thing that they've also done in this custom campaign. Hold up, let me write it or let me let me read it real quick just so I can give you the correct info. Um, in addition, balance changes have been made that increase the viability of underperforming units such as the Predator, the Hellion, and the Wraith. While overperforming units such as the Siege Tank and the Marine are no longer as generically powerful. So essentially they tried to like balance the campaign more and make it more enjoyable. So you can kind of just do whatever you like. While also making it very hard. So, you know, sounds great. I still have 10,000 credits. Not a whole lot I can do with those. Yeah, the AI in this campaign is also much smarter. That is true. Um, the... Um, the AI uses a lot more spell casting and like actual target firing on weakened units and they try and target down my medics primarily and all that sort of thing. So we'll see. Um, I did spend a bunch of my points on upgrading quite a few of my units. The fire bat right now is awesome. I'm kind of treating my fire bat primarily as like an anti zurich type of unit. And I might do the same right here for the Marauder for like an anti-armor type of unit. Hellions are also really cool. So... This upgrade right over here is one that you normally have split up into two different upgrades. And then they added this one in the custom campaign called Lion Servos. Allows Hellions to attack while moving. I kind of want to try and see if I can do some missions where I use this in combination with the Diamondbacks. Someone suggested that yesterday and that sounds like a lot of fun. Because you can then have Hellions together with Diamondbacks all moving and shooting at the same time. I think that'd be fun. Should be, should be quite enjoyable. Let's go down, uh, Kaczynski. Anyway, guys, we can choose where we want to go next. Redstone? I hear the mighty Jim Rainer's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable mineral. Or Tarsonis. We received reports of a new Dominion salvage operation on Tarsonis. Um, these are all Zerk researches. Some of these researches over here have also been updated. So there's one right over here that I really want to get. Uh, called Shadow Tech Stimpak. Non-Marine and Medic Barracks units gain the Stimpak ability. So, I don't have anything to get more Protoss research for now. I guess we'll have to wait a little bit into the campaign before we get more of those points. But, this sounds like a lot of fun. Because then you can literally have Stimped... Uh, yeah. Stimped Reapers. Stimped Ghosts. I'd like to give that a try. What's going on, Life Trinus? How are you? Do we do redstone first, guys? I think so. Nightmare difficulty. 
I'll pick Nova this time. Yeah, I'll try and pick the opposite. Heck of a place. Uh, the opposite choices from last time. I ever mentioned how much I hate volcanic planets? Good I think. See you we'll see. They call me Tash. You help me mine the minerals I need, and I'll make it worth your while. What's the catch? Well, this place is a little. It's good on mini. Unstable. Nebby Rost, how are you? The low ground gets flooded with lava every few minutes. Of course, that's where the richest mineral nodes are found. But that'll be no problem for a big, tough guy like you. Thank you, Tosh. Sir, I'm also picking up Zerg biosignatures on the surface. We'll need to spend some of what we mine just to defend the operation. The more we spend, the longer this is going to take. Uh, lava and Zerg. Two of my favorite things. Let's do this. Good morning. It's a little early for that, man. Or a little late for that. It's nearly 1 p.m. over here. I had to get up at 7 this morning. Because, like... I broke, like... Uh, we have, like... Uh, we found out last time we talked about this. That apparently they don't have this in the U.S. What do you call it? A Kanto Kibra? I think that's what we call it in the Netherlands. But I don't know what the English name for this would be. Uh, this is a, um, it's not actually a, a window, it's, it's a, it's a door we have in the bedroom. So we have like a small, tiny little balcony, and it has like a, a door that can like open like that, and it can also tilt backwards like that. So it's like one mechanism that handles both of those moves. Does that make any sense? Anyways, it's like a big ass door type of thing. Apparently it's like 80 kilos is what the guy that said that came over, uh, to fix it, you know, mentioned. Anyhow, uh, hours broke, and the guy that came to fix it, um, he was here at like 7.30 this morning. So he was... Yeah, apparently, this is super normal in the Netherlands, super normal in many places, but a lot of Americans were confused last time we talked about this. It's just it's just called a window, right? But... Um, New subscriber anyways. detected. They had to change the Low entire eternal locking mechanism. Rerun sign. They had to, um, they had to replace the entire internal stuff. I think they charged me like 375 euro. Mm, that's my favorite thing to do before 8 a.m. I fucking love being a homeowner, dude. Being an adult is the best. Like, being an adult and just, like, being forced to spend money on things. It's just, it's just, yeah, I fucking love that. Fuck, yeah, lo love that, man. Highly recommend. Yeah, so apparently the top mechanism broke off, and it, you know, it's been there for like 13, 14 years. Window so. mechanic logo. I'm Work. not. No, dude, I am really bad at getting shit done around the house. I'm good at some things while trauma event, but, or while trauma president, but I, I, I cannot. I'm definitely not a window mechanic, no. Have I ever had a piping problem? Uh, we had a leak last year? No, maybe this is two years ago. I don't know, time is funny. But uh, I suddenly noticed like a... Uh, like, my ceiling in one of the rooms had a different color. <laughs> Turns out it was water damage. That was fun. That was fun, too. Yeah, fucking loved that. <clears throat> Did I call a plumber? No, I called the insurance company. <laughs> they fixed it, actually. It didn't cost me anything. Well, you know, I pay for the insurance, but... Yeah, water damage was kind of shitty. That was not great. They actually fixed it really nicely, though. Thank you also, Invisi, by the way, for the 49 months. God, I don't want to be an adult. Yeah, being an adult is great. Highly recommend. <laughs> All those things that you never signed up for. Um, I want to go Reapers, but I don't know how good Reapers truly are on a mission like this. I don't think they're going to be that amazing. I'm actually going to put all health bars on. Just a quick dab of paint should do it. No, they actually have to fix the leak. It's not a great idea to, like, not fix the leak and just paint over it. Because that is just going to come back. Um, am I going to go... There's Zerk on this map, right? I think I might want to go for some fire bets, too. I don't know. I'm always a little confused about the unit comps on this map. Get those SCVs to high ground. Right oh, yikes. Now. This better be. Oh. 
Sorry, I was looking at the chat. Oh, yikes. Okay, I might need to get some units a little faster. Nightmare difficulty is not easy. No, we're gonna go for that one. You may have guessed that it wasn't easy, but... Okay. I think I think going like fire bet marine medic might be superior to be honest over reapers, but I might be wrong. Like this is a reaper mission, right? So, Swan, give me those units. Oh wait, no, Tosh. Actually, no. Let's go medic. Do we know? Do we know Swan? Oh god, they're super. F wait, are they always this fast? For some reason, they felt faster to me than normal. Yeah, they do have the grenade ability, which is nice. All right. There's normally not creep in that base, I don't think. Yeah, baby. But I also don't have the healing out of combat, though. Some of my boys disappeared in this area. Okay, I think there's resources up there, too. Yeah. Um... I think I can probably afford going double barracks. I might need triple barracks, to be honest. This mission is hard because, like, you have to spend money to make an army. But obviously, if I if I spend too much of an army, it's it's a problem. Okay. I need to probably build up a reasonable force. I can imagine this one's probably gonna take me a couple of tries. Yeah, I do want to get a little bonus objectives too. Oh, lost one unit. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna attack my base. If they attack my base, I'm screwed. Is there more here? Okay, good. What are you guys going like that? No, you fucking idiots! Should have just loaded you into the thing. Ah, what are you doing, dude? Do I blame me or my units? Okay, I'm already screwed. <laughs> this mission is a Bronze League simulator, Loco. Right, right, yes. I agree. Okay, new plan. We're gonna try our best to not be an idiot. Now, I know you're thinking, Loco, that's not your strong suit. You're right. Just blame chat, Loco? All right, yeah, I'm gonna blame chat. Wow, chat, can't believe you did that. New subscriber detected. Good on, Gila, thank you. Halfway to a year, D. Thank you very much. No, nope. lads, stop that. Not enough minerals. Dude, I could have been mining for like another five seconds. No, ten seconds. Maybe longer. I don't know. I could have been mining. Loco, I never do anything. I can't be at fault. That's the problem, bro. If only you did something. Anyway. I did upgrade my medics, by the way, so they should be quite be... Yeah, quite a bit better at, like, healing. Okay. I don't know how many SCVs we want. I think probably about this many. Yeah, I'm gonna do, like, one more, and I think that might be enough, but I'm not sure. 8,000 minerals is a lot. I got some friends coming to help you out. Reapers. Reapers, you say? Hell, cowboy, we gotta train more of these guys. They're seriously badass. You're seriously badass. Roasted. Okay, we're gonna try and take the bonus. Or the bonus, the second command center. Okay, I need you to tank some of the damage here. Yeah, you guys in the front.
Okay. Great. This is great. So far, so good. Can you guys load up? Yes. All right. Uh, sir, sir, uh, scanners show a large bio signature close to your position. A brutalist, I think. Okay. You could kill it. That'd be I should probably actually kill the hatchery too if I, to if I can. The reapers are amazing at killing things. I don't know if they're gonna produce out of those things if I don't kill them, but probably a good idea to. Uh, I'll make a couple more SCVs here too, I guess. All right, all right. I like this so far, right? I don't think I could really have a much better start than this. Yeah, the Brutalisk is going to be something. The Brutalisk is going to be a real issue. Because I don't really see how I can... I don't really see how I can kill the Brutalisk with... Oh, yikes. Okay. I don't really see how I can um, kill that with fire bets and stuff. So I have to make sure I get a reasonable army. I mean, this is already a reasonable army. I get that, Horner man. Yeah, thank you. Bronze League Horner over here giving me advice. Oh shit, why did you not? Okay, this is not as clean. Um, I might want to actually make a round of Reapers too. Yeah, I'll queue them up like that. I'll start up the second one too. Because they are very gas heavy, so they're 50 minerals, 50 gas. See that targeting? Oh, that sucks. Nice Q, Loco. Thanks. The Q is not relevant, though. Because I don't actually want to spend my money. Okay. Go ahead. Got something for Go on. Do it right by you, man. Is the coordinates of the nearest mineral nodes. The Grim Reaper has arrived. Okay, let's see. What's going on? What's it worth? Certainly. Done. Gotta wait until the creep dissipates, which actually takes a while. Yes, indeed. Okay. I can always just bait him into the lava, too, right? We, we will have to make a decently sized army, because I don't see how it would work out in my favor otherwise. I don't know if there will come from that side. Yeah, I should have actually cleared out that creep tumor over there, because in uh, Wings of Liberty, creep took way longer to dissipate. Okay. Yeah, they're doing a lot of long-distance mining now, which is really not ideal. I will also have to try and make a couple of medics, I suppose. Finally, it can land. But I'm pretty sure... Come on. There you go. I'm pretty sure that the uh, lava is soon gonna rise. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic. That was too many links to lose. Uh, Loco looks like he's wearing a tie. <laughs> That's my microphone. I'm just that classy of a streamer, bro. Oh, no, that ain't it. Mm 
seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. The Grim Reaper has been Our SCVs are under attack. Lost a little more than I was hoping for, to be honest. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. Yikes. Um. Um. Oh, mute us too. That's fun. That's fucking fun, dude. Love those. Yeah, I love that. I think we might be better off not making too many Reapers, though. Just use the Reapers for, like, grabbing those high grounds and stuff. Because there's a lot of resources there, but... Um, other than that, they're not going to be the best choice, I don't think. Like, medics are going to be quite more, quite a bit more cost-efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back to that point. So we're starting up that one a little sooner. This is right as I'm mining all of those resources. I'll use the Reapers over here to try and clear out this area. Okay, I've already killed that creep tumor. That should be helpful. Okay. Lift. Just a reminder, sir. The more minerals we expend on forces, the longer it's going to take to reach our goal. Okay. Try to be economical. Gonna get it a couple... A couple of those. Okay. Reapers? No, Reapers aren't too expensive. They're only 50 minerals each, so they're quite cheap. It's not resources, it's minerals, right? The doctor is in. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. What's going on? Ah, you scared me! Unacceptable landing zone. Okay. I think this is quite a bit better. We'll idle units over there. And I will continue roaming the map here as well with those Reapers. Because there's a lot of those pillars. Okay. You guys keep those alive, please. Oh, wow. Why'd you guys never start mining? I'm listening. Um, oh, that's all. There's more resources over here too. I don't know what the limit is on like spending money in this map. Like there is a limited amount of resources, right? It's finite, so like you can't actually win if you spend too much. Yeah, fire bats are actually legit here. Of the nearest mineral nodes. Big job. Additional supply depots required. I'm listening. All right. I'm going, I'm going. Mineral field depleted. Smells like fueled up. What's going on? Smells like fueled up? Is that what he said? I quite like this situation so far. Yeah, there are a lot of bases on this map. That is correct. So it shouldn't be... Like, shouldn't run out of resources anyways. But you never know. Okay. I'll try and go after the Brutalisk and stuff later. Although, actually, no, I should probably go sooner because we get upgrades from them right now. I'm actually going to try and move on over there already. This might be a little early. I don't know what the attack wave timing here of the different um, Zerg attacks are going to be, so I need to be a little careful about it. But I have a pretty good army. I'm assuming the Brutalisk is going to be really strong, though. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, I can't attack right now. What's going on, Killer Panda? Is this the real Loco? Is he truly back? I don't know, man. Am I even real in the first place? Please state the nature of your medical 
I'm not convinced that I was real. Maybe I'm fake. Okay, everyone go chill on the high ground. We're all gonna chill together right over here. Okay, I have a good amount of supply. If you could please not kill my... my like, this is annoying as hell. Normally, you can kind of just keep it flying on over there. I don't want you guys to spend all the money here repairing that base back up. Everyone, no. No auto repair. Did they put a fucking creep tumor down? Please, no. Well, that sucks. Okay. Some of you guys go up there. Okay, I guess you can land over here for now. Dude, the fucking AI. Being a jerk about it. New subscriber detected. I don't know how many flyers there's going to be, man. If there's going to be like a, a brute lord or something, that's, that would kind of suck. Okay, so we have we have taken care of the first few mi mineral sets. The problem is I've also spent a couple thousand. So I have 1,900 right now. We're going to have to make a move for some of the bottom bases, I guess. I think this one probably makes the most sense, but I don't know. There's one over here. Like, normally you don't really need to mine out that many of those resource fields, you know? Okay, here's the Brutalisk. I imagine I have a lot of resource- Oh, it's got an ability! It's got an AoE ability. Is this life? Well, in the future it might not be, Frau Dr. Merkel. But currently it's life. Unless you're watching this in the future. Because maybe you're watching this again in the future, you know? So I want to be considerate. Dude, it deals splash damage now, too. Normally, it's a single target damage dealer that doesn't have an AoE ability. I'm not entirely sure what my best way of getting that done is. We'll ignore it for now. I might need to bait it into the lava. That's always tricky, though. Dude, there's barely any money here. Whoa, there's like nothing. Dude, there's so few resources in this base. Not even a thousand. The Brutalisk is also guarding a ton of money. Um... No, that's probably not the best move then. Yeah, killing the Zerg bases also seems to give some money. That's true. Anyways, we'll head on up here. I'm actually going to have to make some more uh, Reapers. Got quite a bit of gas. Probably try and spend that. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of money here. Okay. 
I wonder if I made too many workers. Your men work fast. We've already got half the minerals we need. Okay, everyone go back there. You guys, I don't really have a place for you to mine yet, so I guess you can idle over here. Maybe I should push over in this direction as well. This is already mined out too. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, go. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Who? Okay, good. There's the mutas again. Fucking mutas, dude. Okay, I'm gonna get another drop. I don't really want to spend money here on repairing my command center because it's so incredibly inefficient. Okay, we're gonna try and make a move for that one. I'm once again below half though. Oh god. Is it Bainley? Fuck me, that mainly deals way more damage than it normally does. <clears throat> Don't know if that was really that good. Oh, there's a fucking creep tumor here? No, not a creep tumor. Okay, well, we'll push forward. Let's we'll try and clear it. Maybe we have to do a full map clear, you know? We'll see how that goes. Fucking ultralisks? That's not cool, dude. Don't appreciate that very much. Um, I should not go in that direction, should I? <sighs> There's a lot of safe scumming going on in this campaign, guys. I, I don't really like safe scumming, but... Oh my god. I'm gonna get some new Reapers here in a sec. Don't take a right turn. You got like 20 rates on this mission? You can have rates in this mission? Don't you unlock rates way later? Okay. Yeah, you can delay this mission for quite a while. I know that much, but... Okay, this is where those Zerg units are coming out of. It's called a hatchery, chat. Crazy Zerg technology, dude. I've completely left my main base alone, by the way. If they attack over there, that would kind of suck. Okay, I do get money out of this, though, by killing it. Safe. Okay. Can't forget about the brutal list, by the way. So there is a lot of money on this map, actually. There's quite a bit of it. I'll try and kill the brutal list at the last possible moment. 
Okay, good. And there's probably also still money right over there. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple more Reapers. I lost a bunch of them. Still have one. If I'm not mistaken, there is like money over there too. Yeah, so this Zerg base over here is constantly gonna send attack waves. Yeah, okay. That's good. I remembered correctly. Okay. Whoa, where'd the other Reapers go? Oh, I guess they fought a Hydra. Okay. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. See, I was concerned about this. Big zirkling drop. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Oh, dude, they put a new fucking creep trooper down over there. That's so mean. Yeah, they've been overload dropping the whole time. I need to try and bait the Brutalisk into the fire. The problem is that there's two spine crawlers over here, plus the baiting itself. Okay. We can try and let him get killed by the lava. It's not gonna be easy though. Don't mind me, just walking my Brutalisk. Could also just poke him, I guess, like this. Uh, nope. <laughs> Dude, that's like a gajillion help. Yeah, we found out this thing has splash damage now. Not my favorite thing. Oh, yikes. You guys could start clearing out some of that low ground over there. That'd be awesome. Okay. Especially the creep tumor. Okay, this one's mined out. Oh shit. No, 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 Not the ultralisk. Oh, I pushed too far. I pushed too far. Are you gonna leave? Are you gonna leave? Please leave. Okay, I pushed too far. Um, New here's the move. Detected. Okay. Seismic activity is increasing. Too late with my brutalist bait. Okay, this is all going to my main. Fucking spine crawler push over here too. Oh my god, they're Reese. <laughs> <laughs> They're re-stepping that location over there. Oh, dude. Thank you, Flying Lurker. Just a few more minerals to go. This better be good. Can I... Can I bait... That ultra, or can I like prevent that ultra from coming in here? Because it doesn't look like it, but. 
I don't know if uh, I create an arc like this. Might be able to just kill it. Especially with medics healing each other. Okay. Huge amount of units, though, coming over to my base. Okay, I think this is nice, but... Meet you guys back over there. That's a lot. Sorry, guys. I don't see how I could do this without loading repeatedly. Unless I learned a mission by heart. But I feel like the only way you can do that is by learning, you know, when to save and when to attack. Oh, this happened to be a move out. Okay, I see. Learning, dude. Ugh. Gross. Okay, so there's enough money over here to finish the mission. There's also money over here, obviously. Okay, here we go. This is tricky, though. I don't know what the timing is. I need to get him on the low ground at the right moment. Is he smart? Wait, does he know lava is coming? Fuck, they removed that cheese. <laughs> Oh, he definitely walked to the high ground or to the low ground earlier. Yeah, they did remove cheeses out of other missions too. I can get this mission done, but I really do want to try and get the Zerk thing. Mm. Oh, eighty percent of chat lately has been me safe scumming. No, dude, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Wait, are people angry at me loading repeatedly? Do you want me to start again from scratch every time? <laughs> don't, um... Don't mind me, guys. I'm gonna spend the next four days trying to get this mission done. Restart after every fail. Oh, you were arguing about the definition. Oh, I see. Definition arguing is always my favorite thing. Oh, I thought people were complaining. Apparently it's a really touchy subject, guys. Hey, thank you, uh, detected. Look who's back, back again. Loco's back. You Hello, friend. Ara, you Ara. I am Loco, yes. I, I am. I, I, I am. Um. I believe. My main base might be fucked. Why are you guys? Oh. Um, I think I should have won the mission by now, guys. Anyhow. Um, I, I don't know how much money there is over here. Not 700. Okay, here's the move. We're gonna try and head on over in that direction. Base Fuck this base. Attack. This just means that we have about 10 minutes of doing nothing. Give or take. Okay. Our SCVs are under attack. Oh my god, there's a huge army here too. Are you kidding me? My order might just be off. Um, I'm gonna go back. Maybe over here. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm thinking the same thing. Like, there is still a good amount of resources over here, and I think there might still be some resources on the ground and stuff in those locations, too. 
So I think I'm going to leave those alone. And then I'm going to try and spend money right here on an army that can kill the Brutalisk. So there's still some, some good amount of resources over there. I think if I kill the Brutalisk from here, I should be good, right? Maybe. Like the Brutalisk and then this should be plenty. I think the Brutalisk might also drop some money on its own. So if I'm adding on a couple Marauders, I think those might be good. I don't know. What does the Brutalist give? Research. So the research will help me out in future missions too, right? You don't have to do all of the research, but I want to do the Brutalist. Yeah, it will also give me Reaper upgrades, which I don't think are going to be very relevant anymore at that point in the game, but it's okay. I think it might also drop resources. Plus there's like 400, 500 or so in that location too. Um, not a lot of money left over here, but... At least a little bit. Boom. Mine it out, boys! Mine it out! New subscriber detected. Ooh, the concussive shells right there. The AOE concussive shells. Alright, it was mined out. I think this is pretty good for us. We'll try and push, I guess, with the next uh, fire. I'll make a few more Marauders for... Or after the next fire, Rotter. This will hopefully allow me to keep my main base alive. I know that there's going to be another Muta drop here. Or sorry, an Overlord drop here. After the lava ends. Okay, I don't know if I spent too much money. Oh jeez, that's a lot. Okay, all good. Okay, we're gonna go over here. 